which is why did you write this play and what were you trying to say through it? Well, the, originally why I wrote this play is kind of bound to the question of I wanted growing up. So I went to a drama school called Identity Drama School, which was one of the first black drama schools in the UK, which is home to obviously now John Boyega, Letitia Wright, Damson Idris, like all these top black actors um, all went to the same drama school. I was like one of the first few students um, when the drama school started. And when we would do plays, there was never any, we would never have any plays with black characters who had experiences that I, I'd lived through. So we would never find a play that was set on an estate or we wouldn't find a play that had any young black women or young black men in it. Um, and I just felt kind of disheartened by that as someone trying to be an actor who couldn't find roles that I could relate to. So I decided that I was just gonna create a play and the biggest thing that I wanted to start off with where was, I guess my protest with when I started was that I wanted to write a play that had African names in it. Cause like, I was like, I exist in the world. Why have I never seen a Bola or an Ade or an Ola on television before? Um, and so that was like the, the first thing that just, I was like, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna create African characters who had experiences like me. Um, and that was the, the kind of thread that kind of, I started pulling away at that and then, it was like, well, write about what you know, write about the world that you know. And so that's why I wrote about Gone Too Far because it was an experience that I understood and I knew. Um, would you say that, um, uh, that's really interesting. Uh, would you say that um, when you were younger, um, seeing that there weren't as, there weren't people like you in the media that you were consuming, how would you say that affected you? And why do you think it's important um, for uh, children now to be experiencing um, media with them in it, people like them, people who they can relate to? Because I think that, I mean, I'm a dreamer, right? I'm a writer because I'm a dreamer and that's why I'm a creative, right? And growing up when I was in English, in my English classes and in my drama classes, when we would do plays and we would do stories, it was never, there were never any characters that looked like me. So although I'm reading a book, I'm always putting myself in those stories, right? Whenever you watch television, whenever you're reading a book, whenever you're watching a play, there is something in you that puts yourself into that world and into those characters. And so it does feel disheartening when you're, when you're, um, when the world doesn't recognize you <laughs> and the world tells you you don't exist. Um, and so that had a huge effect on me because I think that's also part of the reason why I stopped being an actor. Um, I wasn't even that good either, to be quite honest. That was, that was the second reason. I wasn't the best in the class. But the first reason was that I wanted to then create worlds where actors could act and also people could see themselves in those characters like and and it's not to say that like I always say this to everybody like you can read a play like Gone Too Far and you might know an Amani, you might know a Paris, you might know a Yemi but it doesn't mean that that Yemi and that Amani are representations of all black people so it doesn't mean that like you know Amani represents every mixed race girl in the whole entire world it doesn't mean that but at the same time what I wanted to do was create worlds and create examples of characters that exist in the world because we exist in the world um, and I think it's important for us to see ourselves reflected back because when people don't see that, I think that that's where we get problems when we meet people from different races and different places um, where there's not a level of understanding. You know, our first experiences of people, especially when you're younger, is TV, film, books, plays, you know. So um, I think it's important to have um, good representation for sure. Um, right. So as uh, a mixed race girl myself of West Indian background on that side, um, to me, it was special myself to see, to see someone like me, to see Imani, uh, even though I don't specifically relate to her, like you were saying, um, I would like to think that I'm not like Imani, um, but it's, not, it's good and it's uh, nice to see someone like me, someone who is um, from the kind of background that I'm from, um, on the stage doing things that I like doing, not Amani, but um, <laughs> <I know. laughs> acting, performing. Um, and it's wonderful to see, uh, and I know that it would be helpful for other um, girls and like everyone like me, people, uh, I've always um, struggled to find uh, myself within the media. I've struggled um, with my identity uh, and seeing that uh, the progression of um, people uh, like me writing plays, people like me being in plays uh, is so inspirational. Um, and I know it will be for a lot of children in the classroom. And I think that the classroom is the perfect place 
to start uh, that kind of thing. So I thank you for writing this play and I'm really thank excited you. for it to be on, to, to be in classrooms. Thank um, you. I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I wish that, I always say that like, if I was my 15 year old self, like I would have loved to um, had had a play like this when I was doing GCSE drama because we didn't have it at all and so yeah so it's nice to hear that like and I I do I did write from the perspective of like I'm writing for people like yourselves because I do think it's important for you to have characters that you can explore and they don't need to be like you like I'm sure that playing Armani is going to be far removed from who you are which is fun because I mean it's it's fun for you to play other people and and that's what acting is all about you know so yeah I'm glad that that resonates with you thank you Another question is, how did you tell the female story through the male characters, and how did you find that? Yeah, I think that, I mean, when, it, when you're writing, you have to learn structure. You have to learn, like, who's the lead? Who are the supporting characters? Um, how do you also tell a story for the supporting characters that help support the character who, who the story is mainly about? So the story is about Yemi, and Yemi's on this journey of self-discovery. But along the way, he meets all these different people that kind of help explore his identity and figure out the things that are not quite right with him. Um, and I guess with his arguments with Amani and Paris, well, Amani in particular, but that argument is the catalyst that kind of throws them off their journey in terms of, you know, he's meant to go and get some milk, but he gets into this argument with these girls after obviously he has the argument at the shop, but that throws him on to a different journey. Um, and so the aim is always when you're writing to um, make sure that you create characters who all have a need and a want. And so their needs and wants are either an internal need um, with Armani, she's a character that thinks she knows herself, but clearly doesn't. Um, she has a journey that she's going on herself in the in the story. Um, and so the idea is just to kind of create characters and create worlds where there's conflict, because that's what pushes a story forward, but also that, that that conflict can be resolved through the journeys of your characters. So those are the tasks that you kind of have, but also it's, a, it's important that when you create worlds, you create worlds that people can see and relate to, um, and when you're creating characters, especially characters like Amani and, and Paris and, and Yemi, um, the idea is always to create these characters um, that live, I guess it's a mirror to society, that these are lived experiences. And so that's kind of how like I was able to kind of mix all those things together. If that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it does. Good, good, good. Well, when you're from like, again, another reason why I wrote this play was because I wanted to explore what it was like being from a diasporan community, you know, like my parents are 100% from somewhere else. Like this mm -hmm. is somewhere that they decided was their home when they were in their late 20s. Like this wasn't something they grew up, there wasn't a world they grew up in. And so it was, it's interesting to explore what that's like for a community of people who have a home elsewhere. Like I've got a home in Nigeria. I have a place in Nigeria. I have family in Nigeria. Yeah. So um, the idea that like home is just this one place where I'm rooted in isn't true for me and isn't true for a lot of people who are in this country because everybody has um, places like whether even not just black people it could just be like you know if you're from Ireland or you're Irish and you live in Bristol or London or whatever like do you know what I mean like you have family in Ireland that you could mm -hmm. go back home to so there's there's a community that I think as well in storytelling we just don't get to tell those stories like the diasporan community is a massive community and it grows each year um, and that's why I started writing plays in particular about that community because I think that it, it ties into um, also questions about intergenerational experiences. Like my parents' experience living in this country is 100% different to my experience living in this country. And then my, my you know, nieces and nephews, their experience living in this country is different to my experience living in this country because now all of a sudden they've got parents who are very firmly rooted in England. And so their experiences as um, whether or not they call themselves African or British is, is totally different. Like, um, so I think that I'm really interested in those questions and those themes um, about identity and yeah, the diaspora and, and what is home. <laughs> Sorry, um, as myself, I've always been quite widely spread. Uh, I come from Hull. Uh, my dad's side of the family lives in London. My mum's side of the family lives near Halifax. Um, I have family in Ireland. I have family in Wales, America, um, the Caribbean. I have family everywhere and I've, never really been so attached to any of those places. I, um, um, I've never really seen my family there. Um, 
but I know that I come from there and I have roots there and I love learning about those things. I love learning about my past and where I've come from. Um, and I feel that me as a person, I love being someone with so many different cultures behind me. I love being someone um, who can uh, continue to learn about myself, who can continue to uh, learn new things about my family. Um, and I think that even though it can be a struggle with identity, it can be um, aggravating to not know who you are or where you're going. But it can also be a beautiful experience learning who you are um, and learning about yourself and your family and where you've come from. And I know that I still have a lot to learn about that myself. And if I were to read a play like this for my drama, uh, GCSE, I know that I would have loved to experience that um, in the classroom to um, see people like me uh, discovering themselves. And I think that that is a really beautiful thing. Um, that I'm really glad that you published. I've said that, but I am really glad that you published. Oh, well, I'm glad. I'm happy. I'm glad, that, and I'm glad that it's in schools, and I'm glad that I think that, yeah, like, I'd love for people to just be able to immerse themselves in this world and have questions. I think it's so important. Like, I don't have all the answers. Um, it's not a play that answers all the world's questions. It doesn't solve all the problems in the world, but here is a, 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 it's a slice of life, and it's a mirror of life, and I hope that people can have loads of questions about it, and, and, and think deeply about like what identity is and yeah.